I think when you start out as a coach and especially um, when you've been a player, it's tough to find your voice. And typically your first job, you're going to be around veterans who have been coaching for years and have a lot of experience. But no, I would tell myself that yeah, I should speak up more and have more of a voice and, you know, more say what I'm feeling or seeing and not being worried that it might not be perceived well. I also always tell everybody that one of my biggest regrets is when I was at Tennessee, I never like sat down and had a conversation with Pat Summit, who's, you know, one of the greatest women's coaches in the history of any sport, one of the greatest coaches, period. And most coaches like like that and they want to help and they want to grow other coaches. And I also definitely recommend take advantage of those opportunities and the people that are around you in the athletic department. And, you know, when I left Tennessee, I was like one of the first things I thought. It's like, man, I never had a conversation with Pat Summit and I know she would have been open to doing it. And it's definitely one of my biggest regrets, but I also have learned from that and do a much better job now. Um, and hopefully people I've told that to are also, you know, reaching out to people in their department and learning from other coaches that are so accessible.